kids that are following us live on Facebook right now, welcome along. Yes, we've got the Quirks live coming out of Chilliwack, Canada, right after these messages. Galaxy 107 FM. how people do that automatically when they start hearing our jingles. <laughs> well done, well done. I'll just tee you up a little bit. So, um, can you guys hear me comfortably? Okay, you come. All comfy, cosy? Oh, yeah. Nice. I'll upset that in no time. <laughs> Hi Cheryl, darling. Cheryl, welcome back yeah. to Galaxy and uh, thank you again for joining us live on Facebook. We have the quirks coming out of Chilliwack today. Believe me, this is exciting uh, and I am absolutely elated to have not only Laura with us, aka Sarah, uh, but Ryan, husband as well, and we're going to talk about the rest of the band as well. Believe me, this is a great, great interview. And um, Ryan's smiling too much. He's kind of giving me a complex right now. Maybe I should smile more. <laughs> Sorry, I want to turn the sound down. Over here. Over here. Why? It's not what? Yes, it is. How else do you hear them? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. You pressing the wrong buttons today or something? <laughs> Okay, we're going to go straight into um, Sailor. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so that we'll get the um, artists and isolation thing out of the way first, okay. and then we can concentrate on the quirks, because Sailor basically was my introduction to you, um, and uh, I think this is a great way to start. Me too. guys um you gave everything up for music god yeah. bless, god yeah. bless you we gained everything now oh we did it again the world <laughs> but you have now i can tell you that um because believe me uh, our listenership is completely global if you know what i'm saying so um we, we get hit I, I don't know how this comes into it. Four corners and around world. Yeah, we do. But we get heard in all four corners, apparently. Huh? <laughs> just, just the middle bit I'm a little worried about. <laughs> if we're only heard in corners, my God, what's happening in yeah, the middle? Don't forget we're Middle Earth here as we well. We are Middle Earth. Mm. Good thinking, Bob. Yes. Well done. That's a good recovery, actually. I didn't think of that one. <laughs> I really didn't. Um, Sarah, I love this track. Sarah? Uh, Laura. Laura. See, oh my gosh, I, you did it again. Yeah, oh, I, you're in I, I, I tell you, Bob, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'm you, Jerry. Go there on. There you go. There you go. Jerry. Yeah. Just don't put a springer behind it. <laughs> Meet Jerry. His new name's Jerry. My new name is Jerry. Oh, well, hey, listen. Um, here's an interesting fact, actually, that the scientists that find planets and moons they've named every single moon in the galaxy that they've found but ours is called moon uh, <laughs> yeah. i mean that's original right you know they name everybody else's why can't we have a name so i'm thinking celestial body brian what do you reckon Ooh. Sure. That's deep, isn't it? It's really, you know, let's, let's rename the moon. Give it a name. I, I, Celestial Body Brian, it's a great name, I think. <laughs> I want to start a movement, a, a global movement, where we actually well, protest and actually give our name, our moon a real name. Let's do it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I think Donald 
Trump has claimed the moon. Donald Trump's claimed the moon? I think is so. Is it Trump or his wig? I don't know, but Which I think one? he has. I read something in the news. What does he name that thing, by the way? I don't know, but, yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's go live. Here we go, we see 107 FM, 9 after 11 o'clock, 21 degrees downtown, it's hot, uh, add another 5, 6 degrees inside the office here, all the computers, everything like that, uh, yeah, melty, very melty, it is, uh, nice to have everybody along, especially joining us Facebook Live this morning, and uh, 62 countries, 94 cities around the world right now, hooking in and joining us to welcome the Quirks, now, Hey guys, nice to meet you. Good to be here. And, and Laura, uh, well, I'm going to make a point of calling you Laura. Uh, That's right. Yeah, because I don't want to, don't want to get it wrong, but uh, well, could be subject to name change. Ryan, uh, I'm going to do my best to call you Ryan instead of Bob, but well, you know, uh, these names have been bandied around the office just lately and well, kind of stick every now and again. So. <laughs> I will apologise in advance for everything that may or may not occur at any given time. So, Sarah, Sailor was the entry level that I met you at, and uh, got to congratulate Sonny Rosa as well for the uh, for the work that he's put in with this particular track off the album Artists in Isolation and uh, Yellow House Studios in association with Galaxy. So, let's just refresh our uh, listeners' memories now. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, Honestly Night Station is an album that got pulled together by Sunny Rosa, and she was really trying to find a way to give back a little bit to some of the local artists around here who, you know, had no venue to play in once they all closed out and had really lost a lot of income. Um, and, you know, all have just had to go quiet in the music industry around here. In, uh, at least, you know, the live music industry. So uh, he thought, well, I'm going to uh, put together this compilation album. I'm going to volunteer my skills and my time and put it all together and draw a handful of artists into this to release, you know, this this album that, that focuses on isolation and, and just the artist's experience in isolation and, and release it and, and see if we can't make a little bit of money and get a little exposure for everyone. Well, you know something? We've been pumping it like crazy, so much so. Uh, we, we do, The breakfast show is literally... Uh, and uh, also on Facebook Lives, everything that we're doing on Facebook Live now, we're mentioning artists in isolation. We want people to go along, go to Bandcamp, type in artists in isolation, go and make a purchase. Nine ninety nine, cheap as chips. It really is. Nine great artists, such as Sarah here. I, See, I got one in there. That was it. I actually did that on purpose, Laura. I really, really did. <laughs> just, just for a little poke. <laughs> <laughs> but Laura is in the album, believe me, and nine artists. You can't go wrong. Absolutely. A compilation uh, that is everyone to win it. They really, really are. And, of course, we played Sailor. You know, uh, Sarah... <laughs> I'm going to do it, <laughs> just for the hell of it, I really, really am. You know, Laura, it, it is a pleasure, and I do thank you so, so much for bringing Ryan along and uh, t 
talking and being a part of the Quirks. Now, uh, how long have the Quirks been in existence? Um, probably about seven, six or seven years now. Um, yeah, we we sort of started up, started small, and built it from there. But it's been going for about six years, I would guess. Nice. We've, we've been in existence since two thousand. Yeah, singing together, just the two of us. But not as the quirks. Yeah. Right, right. Now let me clarify that. But uh, you're older than that, aren't you? A little yes. bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Two or you know, yeah, exactly. We, we just wanted to make sure that you've been in existence a little longer than that, but you've known each other for that long. Believe me, my listeners can get confused very easily. They do. They listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so believe me, Laura, uh, I have a very, very eclectic listener base. I really, really do. Uh, and, and i got to give a big shout out to those in Uganda right now. Uh, believe me, they're all tuned in, listening away. Uh, so, Thank you for joining us from Uganda and uh, Croatia as well. Nice. Uh, anyway, my friends, colours. Now tell me a little bit about this because, uh, believe me, I absolutely love this track. Thank you. Um, yeah, Colours is a pretty recent song that I wrote. Um, you know, often my songs have a lot of words and a lot of imagery and I was really trying to challenge myself to boil a simple message down in this song and so I just started playing and I was I was coming up with a few different options for um, uh, a producer that we were really excited to be working with for the first time Ryan Worsley here in Vancouver he's uh, he's got quite the name and quite the skills but uh you know when I sent this one to him uh, he really loved it and we we ran with it and it was such a neat experience the song really is the simple message is like let's live this moment and and lean into each other because that's what life is about i mean that's the the message very simple well i gotta give you uh, big props i really really do because uh for me i'm an engineer by trade and uh uh, well, a part-time DJ, <laughs> to be honest, even though I've been doing it for that many years, uh, but my, my home heart literally is in either the recording studio or the front of the house. Uh, this uh, uh, meeting, uh, meeting other people, meeting uh, bands and promoting music and everything like that uh, is so close to my heart as well that we need to be able to do this. And without artists like you, surely I wouldn't have a job. So... I want to be able to get behind as many artists as possible. Now, listening to music, I don't hear it as a fan would listen to it. Uh, Ryan, literally, I really, really don't. I hear it as an engineer. I break it down in its increments. I uh, put it all together again. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle, and I come to a solution. That's good work. Now, where did you get this recorded? Well, uh, Echo Plant Studios is the name of Ryan Worsley's studio. Which is outside of Vancouver here. Nice, nice. And, and believe me, uh, I'm sorry, but now they're going to get a millennia of people from around the world wanting to get involved with uh, a lot of their work. Believe me, it's going to happen. It really is. Got to ask you, just before we play Colors, how do we get hold of you guys? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, do you respond? <laughs> We respond so fast. Yeah, we're on a few different places. Um, we have a website. It's just really simple, thequirks.com. And that's, like, we decided to spell it really awkwardly. So K-W-E-R-K-S. Um, but we're also on Facebook, Instagram. Um, we are on Twitter, but we won't, we won't reply to You won't see any of them. Yeah. Right. Facebook is a great place to find us. And, we'll, you know, we see it all the time. We definitely so. respond. Well, I'm sorry, guys, but you're going to get another 5,000 Facebook fans now. You're going to be there all day texting people. Oh, my God. I, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm not, actually. I'm not going to apologize for that. It's just going to keep them happy. Uh, but having said that, right here at Galaxy, here is the Quacks and Colors. <laughs> Is that any better? I need to. Yeah. A little bit more. Good morning, Sunny. There we go. Um, How are you today? How are you feeling, Laura? Pretty hey, good. How are you doing? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. And, and Ryan, I, I really Hi, am quite Shana. humbled to meet you, my friend. Um, 
I love your work. I love your work. I really do. Um, I got to let you know though that when we first spoke to Sonny about the quirks and Barbara was doing research, she goes, "I can't find them." I'm going, "Why?" She goes, "Q U E R K." No, <laughs> it's not how you spell it. So I'm so I'm pleased, not. Laura. I'm so pleased that you actually spelt it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not so obvious. That was an oversight, actually. <laughs> a, a good one. A good one. It really, so really. Hello, is. To Sunny. Hello, Sunny. Nice to have you join us. And uh, Sunny, I need a new ad from you. Uh, now from Rosewood, not from Yellow House. Mm. <laughs> Would love one soon. <laughs> um, nice to have you though. Yeah, it's good to have you along. And Shimmer. Shimmer's with us. Yeah. Oh, from awesome. Deep Detail. Yeah, um, Shimmer from the band Deep Vendetta is joining us. Nice, that's great. Excellent. And of course, Sonny's in there too. <laughs> we should have brought him in, actually. <laughs> so we got In Good Time next. I can do that. And um, we'll have a chat about uh, maybe you guys coming to New Zealand. and. Wants to. I'm meeting him. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. On Facebook Live? Yeah. Very cool. He may um, not respond. By though. the way, guys, you'll get a copy of everything we do today, and I feel Come sorry on, for you, so I do. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go back to the desk. <laughs> sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wants to. Hey guys, so I'll just pop on my words. Hey, bye, let's go. Challenge. Oh, yeah. Right. 
Right. Now we're going to get down this road. Uh, have you ever heard of a hoo hoo grub? No. Hoo hoo grub. H U H U grub. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is a caterpillar on steroids. <laughs> it's big. It's what <laughs> it really is. And what you do is, well, you put the live body in your mouth, rip off the head, don't eat the head. But when you crunch down on this, it's like eating creamy peanut butter. Oh, man. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> now, uh, I advocate lots of arm bending before, during, and after the... Uh, <laughs> You know, <laughs> it takes a little bit. You've got to look at the guy handing you a bowl of these, expecting you to eat one. What's going <laughs> through your head? Well, you know, <laughs> the indigenous folks of New Zealand Marys actually do still have these as a bit of a delicacy. Oh, wow. And, uh, well, we have a wild foods festival down the uh, west coast of the South Island. Originally enough, now think about this, we've got three islands. One's a little island down the bottom called Stewart Island. It's got a name. Yeah. Then, then we've got the South and the North. Island. We ran out of names. <laughs> Just the South and the North. Yeah, yeah, that's original, don't you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm into renaming stuff. <laughs> you know, uh, like like Brian, for instance. I reckon Celestial Body Brian is a key one. That really, really is. And I want to make a movement to do that. But you know, let's <laughs> let's rename the South and the North Island. Uh, just, just wondering in Canada, do you see, you know, as you go through Canada, do you see a change in accents in Canada? Yes. No, yes, you do, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Canada's pretty huge, so, you know, it takes a lot of driving to uh, get to a new accent, but we have, kind of, in the center of the country, we have Quebec, which is the French-speaking area. Right? So there's obviously more than just an accent difference in the whole language, but there's also, uh, yeah. Far East Coast is more like a maritime, kind of Irish. Like Irish, a mix of Irish yeah. and other things. And yeah, even even Central Canada, Toronto have their own out. sort of accent. They would say, instead of out, they would say out and about. Out. Yeah, well, uh, you know, the, one of the very first Canadians I ever spoke to on this job uh, I thought he was talking about shoes, but he actually was saying a boot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not the West Coast where we live. That's, we say that's the other parts of Canada. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you know, I, I think New Zealand too. I mean, we have our own kind of accent. If you, uh, and I do apologise if you don't pick up anything I say. I will repeat it many, many times until you learn. But... <laughs> But uh, we do have a slight difference as we go further down from the North Island right down to the very bottom of the South. Uh, down, that, down that way is very, very uh, uh, Scottish. Sub, uh, English, Scottish. isn't it? Scottish. Scottish. Mm. Scottish down there, you know. Uh, up here in the North, we say butter. <laughs> yeah. Down there, they say margarine. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> they do, they do. Uh, so, uh, and in good time, I'm going to get to that. I really, really am. I, I promise. Uh, but I'm just curious. Have you ever tried vegan sausages? Yes. Were they made? Were they made of real vegans? Yeah, I think they were. They're pretty delicious. <laughs> uh, I'm going to recommend them now. I really, really am. Uh, now that I know that. So. Taking you away from Hokitika down the west coast of the South Island, we'll take you down to Queenstown. Now, down in Queenstown, uh, fantastic place. It's a little boutique kind of uh, town trying to be a city, but it's the place where all of the A-listers from around the world go to get away from their friends and take their mates. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, Shania Twain, for instance, owns property down there. Uh, Kevin Costner was there not so long ago. Keanu Reeves, uh, Tom Cruise... They all kind of go there. You never know who you're going to bump into. Uh, but you might bump into me, and that might be a mistake, because, well, <laughs> I'll throw you off a bridge. Mm. <laughs> so what was the challenge with the bug? I didn't catch the, the bug challenge. Was there... Was yeah, a... Well, you've got to get past the mental thing and actually eat one. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the challenge. 
Yeah, so then, then they come there a lot to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's much like White Worm, but just a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, have you tried the white worm at the bottom of the tequila? Surely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, this yeah, is just but, bigger. But, uh, but uh, I do recommend you take the head off because that's kind of, you know, you, pff, uh, yeah. He has got the option though <laughs> a to good cook tip. it. Hold, hold on. He's got the option to try it cooked. Oh, oh, Barbara was just saying that you do have the options of trying it cooked. Okay, that sounds a little more appetizing. Palatable. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you what, we'll send you the uh, videos, the instructional videos. <laughs> uh, so, to, you know that I'm not pulling your chain or anything like that. We actually do do these things here in New Zealand. Uh, but at the same time, uh, yes, I will throw you off a bridge. It's called bungee jumping. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, and, uh, well, you're not Australian. We'll attach the bungee. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so kind. <laughs> Don't don't tell the Australians I said that. They already know. <laughs> they hear me say it all the time. Uh, now, are you familiar with Lord of the Rings? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. About an hour and a half away from where we are right here in this office is Hobbiton, the original set of Lord of the Rings. And we're going to uh, have a peruse and have a, have a look through, have some fun. You believe me, it's absolutely stunning. And it, it is exactly... Like what it was in the movie. You know what I mean? Uh, three. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to take in that set. Uh, at the same time, we'll take you to Rotorua. Now, this is a uh, an indigenous, uh, touristy kind of uh, city. Absolutely fun there. We'll take you to places like... Uh, well, you're familiar with um, uh, the big geysers down in Yellowstone, right? Yeah. yeah. All, all the bubblies and the fiery stuff. And, yeah, well, we have that here as well. And we'll take you through and show you all of that even uh, teach you to cook with thermal water, natural bubbly water. It really is quite in e educational, it really is. Uh, but I've got to ask you, are you familiar with Azor? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is lots of fun. Lots of arm bending uh, before. Well, if you can get away with it during, go ahead. Uh, but afterwards, you might need a few as well. It's a big, round, see-through ball, literally. Uh, we have a number of them. And, uh, well, it's like human skittles. We put you in the ball, roll you down a hill, get some people to run in front of you, and now, why lots of this? Well, it's priceless. When you run over their faces, the looks on their faces are great. It really is. <laughs> I have seen that before. Yeah, we've not, seen videos of that. Not in person, but I've seen, yeah, I've seen videos of that. Well, we'll send you more videos and uh, just show you that we actually mean it. Uh, at the same time, uh, now, Laura, are, are you into shopping? You know, I'm not the biggest shopper, but I can. Ryan's the shopper. Oh, I'm shopping with Ryan. Oh, well, I tell you what, Ryan. Uh, Barbara is an Olympic shopper. She really, really is. So if you're into, uh, you know, spending some time getting to see some of the uh, towns and cities that we have down close, you know, on on the footpath kind of thing, and uh, go and have a well, maybe. Uh, uh, Laura and I can go and uh, get on the uh, on the alcohols together. What do you reckon, Laura? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's, 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 let them go shopping. We'll we'll go and have a few arm benders. That's for us. Uh, but having said that, we'll take you to Auckland. Take you out on the How Racky Golf, the Ho Racky Golf, uh, and uh, we'll have a meal out there at night time. Taking the ambience, believe me, it is absolutely superb. It really is, uh, especially with uh, uh, our major structure um, <laughs> our casino <laughs> tower yeah oh, uh, and, and of course our harbour bridge and everything like that it is absolutely magical we'll take you out there uh, at the same time uh, we might even throw you off the tower what do you reckon yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah another bungee thing but this time you know it's yeah. It's not so far. Just throw us off. Well, you know, uh, hey, listen, if you're really, really interested, well, I'm a very accomplished parachutist. I like to skydive heaps, and I don't mind throwing you out of a plane either. <laughs> 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 Let's do that. I'd love to be able to do things like that. Uh, believe me, if you want to go skydiving, I can arrange it as well. Look, excellent. I'm going to pass now. Okay, well, Ryan, you kind of... Uh, are you into fishing? I have been at times in my life, yeah. Okay. What about big game fishing? 
I've never done it, but it looks amazing. Okay, well, would you consider maybe spending a day doing uh, maybe just that? Yeah, you know, let's go and catch some marlin. Uh, uh, you know, we'll go and catch some big fish. What do you reckon? Off the coast here. Yeah, let's do it. Now, uh, the catch is there. Uh, our beloved Prime Minister, her husband, does that. And we might be able to hook you up with the Prime Minister's husband. Let's go and spend a day on the water catching big fish and, and talking about, well, illegal politics. What do you reckon? Yeah! <laughs> Let's try and get some information out of him that he, nobody would else would ever know. Uh, but <laughs> we, we, yeah. can, we can do yeah. it. We can do it. And believe me, uh, Laurie, you're going to love it. You really, really are. We'd be proud to show you parts of New Zealand that nobody else ever sees. Uh, Marlborough Sounds, for instance, we can do that. Uh, it's like Time Forgot down there. It really is. It's like Land of the Dinosaurs. In fact, I know there's still a dinosaur down there. My mum was there the other day. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mum. Uh, but true. Uh, and are you guys into uh, wine, for instance? Uh, I like a little bit of wine. Yeah. Okay. What say we do a bit of a winery tour while we're here in New Zealand? Very fun. You guys have a lot of wineries there. Oh, we do, and we have some of the world's best. We really, really do. We'd be very honoured to be able to give you a tiffle of some of the best in the, in the world, and uh, we're quite proud of it, we really are. Uh, Marlborough, for instance, great Marlborough wine, it really, really is. Um, so we could do that. Plus, well, let's say we do about half a dozen shows, maybe eight shows in Australia as well. Yeah, that's all right with me. This is sounding like a great trip. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it's got to be worthwhile, right? You've got to be able to make a dollar, and let's be honest, we'll only throw in the Australian tour because uh, we like their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, who yeah. We don't want to stay there, but we'll take your money. So, we'll, we'll get to it in good time. Good segue. Tell me about good time. Uh, tell, oh, sorry. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was a good segue. I was just still pondering that. Um, so, in good time comes from, uh, it's kind of an interesting story, actually. When I was growing up, my parents used to give me this, word of advice for my future life. They, they used to say, you know, Laura, when you meet your life partner, you have to let them change. You, know, you need to let each other change as you grow. You know, and so Ryan and I met, and of course I said, you have to let me change. <laughs> but we've, we've tried to do that over the years. And, and uh, you know, when I sort of quit my career and started um, following the path of rock stardom, I... Um, it was a big change for me, and I felt like I was going through a lot of change. Uh, and so I ended up writing this song kind of from the perspective of somebody who's speaking to their loved one, saying, you know, I need this space to change, but I will come back. So that's the, the basis of what this song is about. And it's really connected with a lot of people, actually. Well, I, I tell you what, uh, here at Galaxy, we've been getting quite a few requests wanting to know more about, of course, the quicks and in good time. Uh, and of course we're going to talk about silent movies next, but we're going to do this right now, live here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined by Laura and Ryan in good time. <coughs> I do too. Yeah. I love their work. I really, really do. Um, I should let you know, in case you didn't see it in the fine print, Silent Movies is a cover song. Yeah, Just I, so you know. I know that. Okay. okay great. Yeah. Uh, I kind of figured that when I heard it. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I yeah, went, I love that ah. But uh, the thing is, it is a good version. Yeah, we like it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, um, believe me, I've got bands who do covers. I only play the good stuff. Oh, I like it. <laughs> no, true. There's bands like uh, One Ugly Cowboy that did Another One Bites the Dust, for instance. Brilliant. Brilliant. No. Um, believe me, there's all sorts of songs that have been covered. Not everybody steps up, at, at, but at the same time, puts a little bit of themselves into it and owns it. You know what I mean? That's yeah. exactly it. You have to make it your own, but you have to also somehow make it a little bit fresh or better or whatever. Exactly. It has to stand out. Exactly, exactly. And uh, uh, at the same time, you've got to believe in the product. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
for yeah. all yeah. of them. Yeah, and when I, a lot of artists I find that sing covers don't actually believe in the product. It's just a song, you know? Mm. Well, interesting. Whereas uh, if you're going to do a cover, it, it's a generational thing, for God's sake, get into it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we played the song for a long time before we actually recorded it, so I think it just took on a life of its own yeah. sure. before we, uh, we got to that point. Yeah, sure. we'd have people up and dancing so quickly. Nice. It was great. Nice. Um, you guys familiar with Darth Vader from... Oh, yeah. yeah, you know that wandy thing he's got. Yeah. yeah. Well, Barbara's like that with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, yeah, 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 you got to move fast sometimes. It's a hard hat area. Area. <laughs> sound effect to go with it, you know. Yeah, we do actually. Um, <laughs> I don't want to start here with a little sound effect box or anything like that. But <laughs> that would be weird. It would. <laughs> it really would. I'm um, going to give a big shout out to the band uh, Greg Porter, Jay Re Renix. Is it Renix? It is, isn't it? Jonathan Perkins and uh, Tim Duck. Uh, is it Tim Dick? Yeah. Or Dyke? Dick. Dick. No, Dick. Dick. Tim Dick. Yeah. Uh, he would no, have been <laughs> Okay. So, some countries would call it something completely okay. different, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's um, not scared of his name. I've got to ask you, Ryan, what is a tambo tambo ribbons? Ooh, the ribbons. The tambo know. is the tambourine, tambourine. the ribbons. Well, I kind of figured it might have been, but uh, where does the ribbons... This? Okay. Uh, Here, I'll back up the space. screen a bit. You need space. Oh, oh, that makes... oh, he's going to have it. Well, he's going to show us. He's, he's going, going to, to do a demo. Us. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. This is um, something I do at shows frequently. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's much for <laughs> so, well, I'm trying to stay in the screen, but I, I'm much more. Uh, yeah, I know. In the like, show. Okay, like okay. I, I'm going to talk about that. Hold on. It's Let's like what it my live. granddaughter did at um, gymnastics. Yeah, the ribbons. Yeah. I never thought it would be there. Neither did I. No, how cool on stage. <laughs> Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 20 away from 12 o'clock. It is 21 degrees downtown Barbara Wins, I know. Yep, I, I know. I, all right, I know. <laughs> I'm being told Barbara Wins, yay. Uh, Thursday, all right. Uh, Thursday, June the 4th. And uh, joined live, of course, by Laura and Ryan from The Quirks. And absolutely humbled to meet these people. Believe me, they've got absolutely stunning work. Got to say hi to Greg Porter. Jay Renix, Jonathan Perkins, and Tim Dick. Now, Tim plays the drums, Jonathan the bass. Jay, the electric guitar and uh, guitar faces. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, Greg Porter, banjo, mandolin, flute, and accordion. And, of course, Ryan, vocals, tambo, interpretive boogie. Interesting. <laughs> And the ribbons. Now, uh, we were talking about this while the uh, song was playing while we were up there. Uh, and uh, interesting about the ribbons, I don't see many men actually doing that. Not many men are uh, in their manhood pull out a ribbon. Well, but I have words of confidence in their manhood. <laughs> <laughs> I feel <Wow>. inadequate. <laughs> Oh, man, this is a good one. I've never felt this way before. Uh, uh, but I, I, I can relate because Barbara's granddaughter actually was a uh, former New Zealand Olympian uh, candidate, right? And, and one, one of her floor routines used to be part of the ribbon sting, if you know what I mean. So uh, we used to go along, have a, have a watch, you know, give her support, everything like that. Yep. So uh, I, I can, uh, when you're down here in New Zealand, I'll put you up against her, just to see how damn good you really are. 
Yeah. That would be incredible. That Please a ribbon, do. A ribbon battle. Yeah. Yeah, how old is, how old is she? She's 14. She's 14. <laughs> you know, easy target. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Totally. Nice. We'll get so the, ribbon started, the ribbon started because we were doing a busking festival and we were, like, there was all these big acts who would do all these crazy stunts and had an easy way to bring crowds in. And we were just, you know, guitar, tambourine, and voices. So we thought we have to do something to try and draw in crowds. So <laughs> we went to like the dollar store. I'm not sure if you have them there, but the dollar store bought these sticks, long ribbons, tied them on, and then that became part of our show where I would like dance around with this ribbon and do ridiculous things. Yeah, in short, it worked. It People worked. were interested to see this tall bald guy ribbon yeah. dancing. <laughs> Especially you know a 40 year old bald <laughs> tall guy. <laughs> do you wear tights? Um, no. I would, though. Tutu? No, I have. Yeah, he could be convinced. He just has not yet gone there, you know? I mean, I have ribbon here if you want to see a little, you know, some moves. I, I tell you what, Ryan, when you come to New Zealand, and uh, I'm going to forewarn you now, uh, bring bail money, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're up for some mischief. I am always uh, up for a bit of shenanigans. Uh, I'll put on some tights and a tutu if you do. Okay. Yeah. Deal. All right. Oh. And I'll take you down the main street of New Zealand, uh, the biggest city no. of New Zealand. <laughs> well, hell, uh, I, I've got a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Weston Simonis. We're actually going to be uh, going down the main street of uh, the biggest city in New Zealand, Auckland. Uh, it's called Queen Street, by the way, uh, in yoga pants. Yes. So, you know, a, a, a pair of tights and a tutu, hey, <laughs> anything can happen here, mate, I, I, I tell you. Uh, and uh, we'll find something for uh, Laura to uh, uh, expose as well. What do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I really look forward to that. Yeah. Yeah, we, have, we may even include a few balloons or something. You never know. <laughs> Might have some fun with that. Anyway, my that. friends, silent yeah. movies. Now, I know this is a cover. But when I listened to it, I thought you guys really owned it. You made it yourself. You made it your own. And uh, believe me, when we play it, we have a lot of people. Now, we haven't actually told anybody it was the quirks. We just played it a number of times. And people came back and went, we know it's a silent movie. Who is it? Because this is a great version. So tell me how you made this your own. Well... Really, I had uh, I had loved the original version of Silent Movies for quite a while uh, by Madison Ward and the Mama Bear. And I had listened to it and listened to it, and I wrote a song at one point, a different song, that I felt like kind of was, had the same essence of it, you know? Um, and we ended up developing it with the band. And when, it, when I bring a song to the band, really everyone puts their own flavor onto it. Generally, we don't listen to the song um, or... If it's a cover song, we don't listen to the original song or, you know, uh, just to let it be really organic, how people add their parts. So we had, we had sort of developed this other song, but eventually I just I just said, let's just try silent movies. Let's just try playing it. And the guys hadn't heard the original version at all. And we started playing it and they just started grooving along with it. And we made it, we sort of changed the, the whole vibe of it, you know, like it. It had such a groovy, like, southern sound to it that I loved. But we, of course, had a band of six people, and and uh, what the guys brought was just really fun. And very quickly it became kind of a band favorite, and then very quickly it became an audience favorite. So there it is. Well, i got to be honest with you, Laura. Uh, I, I don't usually go for anything that is a cover, anything like that, uh, or even a tribute kind of thing. Uh, until it stands out. And this one literally stands out here at Galaxy. Here's the quicks in silent movies. <laughs> uh. So do you need a stiff drink here? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, what time, she said. What's the time? Mm. The time here is uh, 13 minutes to 12. Mm. 
tomorrow, right? It is, yes, it is. We it are is. Thursday. We are, we are your June 4th. Uh -huh. um, and we take pride in playing tomorrow's music today. Oh, 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 oh yeah. We do. <laughs> and we think that you guys are tomorrow's music, literally. If you keep going what, the way you're going, hell, you know? You guys are going to absolutely kick it in the ass in no time. Wow, thanks so much. I can't wait to see you guys live. I really can't. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, I've seen the videos, Laura, of you in the pub playing and everything like that, but I want to see you on a big stage, you know? Yeah, the, that's our favourite kind of place to play is big stages. Yeah, yeah, of course, as it, as it should be. I mean, it's the full noise, and I, I, I reckon that you guys would adapt very, very quickly to New Zealand audiences. I really do. Yeah. Um, believe me, think Islanders as very similar to Canadians, like yeah. we all get along very well. Nice. No, well, believe me. Kiwis are just like me, you get out a big hose and wet them down when they get too out of hand. Yeah, yeah that's right. No. <laughs> that's the secret. Um, my favourite quick song, Grumpy Business, is coming up next. Um, so we'll have a chat about that. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to talk about, um, well, you've, we've all been in this surreal times of being in COVID and stuff like that. Have you been writing? Have you been producing more music? Are you releasing new moved. stuff soon because we would like this to come back again, you know we what I mean? moved house. Oh, and you moved house? Yeah, yes, we did. We did. Yeah. Right, yes, right. right after that last interview, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought there was a different backdrop, actually. Yeah. It was either that or you had a damn good stager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your, stage, your stage manager is superb. Um, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yes. Is, is, that, is that bamboo in the background? It's, yes, yeah. it is. It is yeah. bamboo. <laughs> Don't plant it outside. Okay, why? It's it'll get away on what? It'll, it'll get away on Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's actually a weed. <laughs> but it's pretty in a pot. It's great in a pot. That's uh, right. Let's, right. Let's go for uh, the desk. I thought the bamboo was nice behind Ryan's head. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. Okay. <laughs> I just saw a man with his ribbons in the air and I thought, oh my god, here we go. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, please excuse me, I am an asthmatic, so from time to time I run out of puff. Uh, especially when I find somebody as funny as I am. <laughs> and uh, Ryan, your wife was saying that uh, she liked things behind your head. Mm. Big plants, apparently. <laughs> there, it there it is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> stunning. Now, guys, uh, through this COVID-19, and I know you guys have been responsible, I, uh, you know, uh, and been uh, taking every precaution, and, well, have you been writing through this time? Have you been uh, looking at producing more new, new music? Yeah, I have been doing writing on and off as we were talking about before we just moved to a new house so that was occupying quite a bit of time but um before that i i was spending time doing a lot of writing for myself but also with uh my snap tunes program which is a, a songwriting program with kids so i was actually doing that online on facebook live um so yeah the creativity is alive and well i love that idea uh creative young minds 
uh, and besides, you know, you can steal their work and not give them royalties. That's right. <laughs> God, <laughs> God yeah, there's, there's a silver lining everywhere, isn't there? <laughs> yes. Uh, now, at the same time, um, are you looking at bringing out new music in the future? Because, believe me, we would love to have you guys come on back, release new music to our audience, and... Uh, you know, well, you've done this so far. I don't know whether to congratulate you or not, but you're part of the Galaxy family now. Um, oh, thank you. Happy to be part of it. And, totally. And, Sarah, you're an old hat at it now. You've done it twice. Way. Yeah. <laughs> you're such a professional now. You called Sarah again. <laughs> I, I know I did. I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> it on purpose. Totally. Yeah, totally. I, well, I did, actually, to see if you would pick it up or not. You know, <laughs> I just thought I'd throw it in. But... Having said that, Laura, Grumpy Business, this yes. to me, now I love this track, it's my favourite works track so far, it really is. Now, if you're going to be releasing brand spanking new stuff, we want you to come back, we want to be able to talk about that, yeah. and uh, well, we'll even talk about maybe doing giveaways and bits and pieces later on, but I want to know about Grumpy Business, I can't wait, because literally, this was the track uh, when I very first heard about the quirks that I first heard and thought, you know, this is a great track. So I want to know more about it. Yeah. Wrong business. Well, at the time that I wrote it, I, uh, let's see, it was, it was leading up to Christmas. And we have, we have a tradition, Ryan and I, of releasing a holiday greeting video for our fans. Okay, so every year we would put out a video and, and usually... Um, we'd either write a silly song or we'd do a cover or something that was lively and fun and we just kind of have fun with it. It wasn't a high pressure video. It was usually a little bit experimental and we just do kind of silly stuff. Um, one such video was like we, we actually were in the bathroom singing and Ryan was behind the curtain of the, of the shower and poking out and dancing and stuff. So just like off the wall stuff. Uh, and Grumpy Business came out of this. It was one, one year that I, I wrote this song, um, largely because Ryan and I had had a bet, of which the topic we won't even bother talking about, because that is insignificant. The significant part is that I won the bet, and the uh, result was that Ryan had to wear a sheep hat around for two weeks everywhere he went, uh, which he is about to put on for you. Here we go. Yeah. Um, and it's a goofy little thing, a goofy sheep hat, and he, he had to wear it everywhere, and he was rather grumpy about it. <laughs> it inspired the, the great gloating song of Grumpy Business. <laughs> where it came from. <laughs> that explains the photo. Yeah. yeah. That, I, I get it now, I really do, because uh, Barbara, I wasn't sure whether it was a sheep hat or, uh, yes. or, or another... Uh, animal looking thing literally uh but at the same time we loved it we really really loved it we really really did and, and, I and the sheep in new zealand there is a connection there isn't there well, <laughs> well the kind of actually it goes deeper than that because uh, uh this is rather weird actually barbara has white sheep on her property right that nothing but white sheep fluffy you know one morning she comes out and there's a black one there a little yeah. one Brain spanking you, lamb being born is black with white bits on it. Now, at the same time, she has two cows, a male and a female, Bert and Blue. And, uh, well, I, I said to Barbara, I'm pretty sure that cow of yours, that, that male cow of yours, has had a night out. <laughs> it looks like the cow, yeah. it, it really, really does. I'll, I'll get Barbara to send you some photos of it. Uh, so we made it our mascot. Excellent. <laughs> so Barbara and her sheep are now our mascot here. A little black one <laughs> called Midnight. Uh, so believe me, uh, you can be our honorary man mascot sheep <laughs> for, for Galaxy. <laughs> How's that? Uh, but, you know, uh, personally, my friend, I am so glad. If Grumpy Business came out of that attire then, you know, you've got a winner. You really, really do. Right here at Galaxy 107 FM, live is the Quacks and Grumpy Business.
It would be hot in that thing, Ryan. It is very hot. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've already wow. left the page a few times and it's hot. You can fast. only handle the one song. Yeah, so, that's one song. Go so on. my question, and, and forgive me if I'm out of place here, Ryan, but there had to be an equal and opposite part of the bet. If you had one, Ryan, <laughs> what would Laura be wearing? We never, I don't think we ever figured that out. No, I don't think so either. Oh, okay. So it was pretty one bloody sided then. <laughs> well <laughs> done, Laura. <laughs> the mind box. No, no, that's right. The, um, the wonderful thing is that I just won a bet. Like, right. Ryan usually I is usually the one win. who guesses right and who, who yeah. knows, you know, he just wins everything. And so this was... Just a wonderful opportunity for expressing my feelings into a song, you know? <laughs> we, we recorded the video all around our house in the in the little town by us with me with the hat. Yeah. Saw well, lots of people driving by that we knew and yeah. <laughs> well Ryan, um, I know what it's like it to be a winner funny. all the time because the staff are all shaking their head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, I'm getting a lot of that right now, so <laughs> I know what it's like. Congratulations. <laughs> it feels good to win. It really yeah, does. What a great song. Uh, but yes. it, it feels good to actually follow through with the bet and when you lose to have a bit of fun with it as well. Well done, mate. Absolutely. So we've got your number one most requested quirk song coming up next, Ryan. And yeah, uh, that's great. I'll, I'll give you the stats of those when I get them. Uh, and believe me, it's quite impressive because there's been a lot of requests for it. Fun. Really I love that. It's so fascinating to see which songs will kind of rise out. Well, um, may I say, keep up the damn good work. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You know, ser <laughs> seriously, um, and. I, I'm serious. When you bring out new work, please come back. Please, let's, uh, let's do yeah. more promotions. Um, <clears throat> if you've got any CDs, T-shirts, koozies, whatever, send yeah. them to us. Let's do a competition. Let's keep the quirks rolling here at Galaxy because the more time we mention your name, the more it gets in. Yeah, like you know yeah. What I mean? And uh, Are like, buying CDs over there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, yeah. at the same time, like today, we did a. a Marshall Potts giveaway where literally it's um, a CD, some stickers, a couple of koozies, a t-shirt, you know, it, nice. uh, I'm not sure whether there was a guitar pick or two in there as well, uh, but yeah. our listeners, well, you know, they like free stuff, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll send you a package of, of goodies. Yeah, a little awesome. care awesome. package. Awesome, We awesome. take kind of amusing merch, not so much the usual. Okay. We do have and shirts, but uh, we also have funky socks and sleeping eye masks with our oh, eyes. I want a sleeping eye mask. Oh, Barbara I wants one. a sleeping eye mask. I need one. Yeah. <laughs> that, so she says, anyway, hold on. Maybe you send them your way. <laughs> Better do this right. <laughs> Sorry, I was negotiating myself a sleeping eye mask. <laughs> I will let you know about that. All right, uh, one minute after 12 o'clock, it is 22.6 degrees. Barbara wins. She really, really does. She said 21 odd plus 23 degrees. That's odd. Uh, it is this, well, it's the wrong time of the year to be 23 degrees. Thursday, June the 4th, and, well, we're joined live by Laura and Ryan, a.k.a. Bob and Sarah, uh, coming out of the quirks, and believe me, it's an absolute pleasure. I'm very, very humbled to meet these people because, believe me, uh, their work is exceptional. Now, having said that, uh, we were talking about a little bit of a care package that we could get together, uh, do a giveaway. We did one for uh, Marshall Potts this morning, and uh, we had three, three winners, actually, uh, one coming from Australia and one coming from, uh, uh, from Canada literally uh, and uh, then we had a facebook winner coming from jacksonville um, jacksonville. jacksonville florida so uh, uh, everywhere literally we, we're giving stuff away everywhere and uh, we would love to be able to do competitions for you guys keep your name rolling here at galaxy having said that i'm going to say to you now next time you're near a 58 a recordable 58 how would you like to go Hi, this is Laura. 
Hi, this is Ryan. You can listen to us here at Galaxy 107 FM, something like that. We're from the Quirks, da 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 da. Do a couple of those. We can add it into the system where we keep the Quirks rolling. This is about knowing who you are, keeping that name going. And we don't want it to die off just with this interview. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. 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 Nice, nice. Now, uh, at the same time, after we finish this, uh, and believe me, you're going to want it over and done with quicker than later. I understand that. Uh, they're almost begging to leave right now. I can hear it. <laughs> we'll do a, a very, very short video. Now, uh, with the amount of traffic that we have going through our website, they don't just live stream us. They go and have a look at all of our bits and pieces Got to be honest, guys, sometimes I feel very oogled. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're everywhere. So what we do is we put a little shout-out on the uh, home page. They can't miss it. Everybody goes and sees it. And before you know it, there's another 5,000 Facebook fans. That's 10,000 now. You guys are going to be busy. Uh, but at the same time, uh, they'll also go and research you, find out who you are, uh, go and find places where they can buy, download, and acquire your, not only your music, but all of your products, everything like that. And, and that is go to uh, .com, you know, thequirks.com. Go there. Go and have a look. And uh, see, I was listening. <laughs> and believe me, uh, you, you'll find yourself with more money than you can handle in no time. Uh, and I'm not going to apologise, but you can buy your own tickets over at that stage and come and entertain us. Now... I want to know about Orion, because this now has become the most requested quirk song at Galaxy with 22, 71, 22, uh, 2271 uh, requests to date since we've been playing it. Now, we haven't been playing it that long. How come they w uh, that many people request your song? What's the secret behind Orion? came out of a really, really authentic place deep in me. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's all about that, that feeling when you're doing something that makes you feel a lot. You know, everybody's got it. Uh, for me, it happens to be singing and doing music. For some, it might be writing. For others, it might be public speaking or whatever. Maybe for others, it's solving problems. But it's, it's a song that tries to describe how amazing that feels. But then also that there is a conflict in there. Sometimes it doesn't feel like, like it feels, I feel a little lost in it sometimes. So that's, I mean, Orion is all about that. It's about just feeling so amazing and human and, and following that kind of call. Well, i got to be honest with you, Laura. Uh, it's made a connection with our listeners. It really, really has. And uh, it is the one song that uh, just lately I can't seem to get through a breakfast show without having it multiply requested, and uh, believe me, we only have, what, four, five hours in the breakfast show. Uh, we can only play it once. Really, we can. But we get that many requests. Have you played Orion? Are you playing Orion? Will you play Orion? Can you play it again? You know what I mean? It, it's happening right now for the quirks. It really, really is. Uh, so believe me, I am so proud to be able to say our number one quirks most requested song is Orion here at Galaxy. Almost, almost 2300. And that's just since the spent part of the link, right? The download? That's, um, that, they get in touch with our reception. Yeah. And, Amazing. Uh, and uh, just request it. We have a request line through the reception. And, well, it, it started off where Sarah yeah. was writing yeah. it down on paper. True, true person, too, by the way, Sarah. Um, <clears throat> She was writing it down and giving it to me uh, on a daily basis. In the morning, I was coming in to find it on my clipboard, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, then it progressed to a USB, and she came and slammed it down on, in front of me, and she goes, you deal with it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, well, that's what happened. <laughs> it is. You know, so uh, she's getting a few requests for it. Oh, that's it's, so good. Yeah, that's, that's so nice to hear. Here. 
Yeah, and we do play it every morning so far in the Breakfast Show uh, since we've received okay. it. So um, it, it's a it's a good one. <laughs> Plus, we play you in a number of other shows. What was that? She yawned. I yawned. Oh, you yawned. Sarah yawned. The neighbours are listening. Oh, the neighbours cool. are listening. Oh, hi neighbours. Oh, hi neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, dearie, 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 dearie. Nice to have our neighbours listening. Yeah. Um, yeah. Little CBD area, you know, so. <clears throat> yeah. We, we play through the um, awnings downtown. Oh, nice. You know, so all the shoppers and everything, they too are subject to uh, what we're doing right now. <laughs> So, ah, perfect. Lucky them. I like it. And, and there's some little boutique stores and um, nice. two dollar shops and <laughs> places like that. Shops. Two they dollar shops. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Food. We, we're a little more expensive. We, we go a whole dollar more just for the hell of it. <laughs> oh, that's bad for you, you guys. <laughs> yeah, how blase. We don't have dollar shops. We, no. oh, we have two dollar shops. <laughs> 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 ah, dear, dear, dear. And so we'll wrap it up on air <clears throat> after this. But please, guys, don't go anywhere just yet. The lamp suits are uh, here. We're going to take a couple of. Apparently, the lamp suits you had, Brian. It did from. It looked like a Chinese hat. The other way. <laughs> the, other way. <laughs> the other way. The other way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, so, so we'll do a couple of crazy photos. We'll get you guys to pull some faces and stuff like that. It's all about promoting you on Facebook, stuff like that. Uh, plus, as I say, we'll give you everything that we've done today. <clears throat> uh, with the photos, you'll be able to put them on your wallpaper, on your phones, show your friends. You know, these are Kiwis. It's not healthy. Don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. That's great. You know, and, and you're a surviving uh, team from COVID-19. The worst thing you can do is come and talk to me. My God. Yeah, I know. I what know. were you thinking? Who think <laughs> of that one? <laughs> but seriously, guys, we would love to have you back again. And, yeah, uh, we'll come back. We're releasing some music soon, right? Yeah. We're, we're just finishing up. The last track. Kind of, yeah, a remix of a song and then some other stuff. So. Awesome. In a month. Awesome. Yes. Come back, let's do Try. something again. And I'm, I'm God's honest, my friend, we would love to have you here in New Zealand. Seriously. Yeah, likewise. It yeah. would be so amazing. Oh, I'm really we would love to come as well. Yeah. Comes down to sponsorship and a bit of the folding stuff. But once we've got that all sorted, let's yeah. do it. Let's go right back on, to the desk. On the contact. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. If I know, if I feel something, you know I'll never lay it You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. I know that we've gone a little bit over our hour, but it was worth it. It really, really was. 11 after 12 o'clock. It is 20 degrees downtown. And I've got to thank very, very humbly Ryan and Laura for joining us. Coming out of Chilliwack in Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, please, will you come back again? Let's do this again. Uh, and so, uh, if, if you agree to it, you've got to be a little sadistic. Really, I've got to admit that. But we would love to be able to follow you guys in the future. Bring tomorrow's music today here at Galaxy. Will you do that? Thanks, Thanks for so much for having us. It's been a lot of fun, and we, we love what you do. And we'll be back. Keep, keep going. Yeah, totally. Brilliant, brilliant. So you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. That was the Quirks here at Galaxy. Yeah, yeah.